everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley Morgan. Welcome, and today we are making crab. We're making curry crab because that's what I want. I um, have had curry crab in other ways and also chili crab when I lived in Singapore for a slight bit, uh, but this is not that. I am making it Caribbean or Jamaican style, so we're gonna curry it with a coconut curry sauce. Especially because it's getting nice and cool outside, I feel like this is a good way to eat with your hands. It pairs really well with rice. So I have my crab right here. I got from H-E-B. Normally, I go to the farmer's market. When I was in Georgia, I used to go to Namde Moon. And here in Texas, they have um, H-Mart, which is pretty good, but it's not it's not Namde Moon. <laughs> so I have two crab clusters. I'm going to cut them smaller because I want them to all fit into the pan. I also want the curry to seep into the actual shell of the crab, so that's what we're gonna do. Typically, in Jamaican culture, we use blue crab, if I'm not mistaken, the small little crab. Let's doing that that just doesn't mesh well with me i am a girly who likes to eat smarter and not harder same thing for like crawfish like i cannot fathom sitting at a table like literally picking apart something to just get like the tiniest piece of meat <laughs> so it's just like i'm not doing that so for the first clusters i'm actually gonna take that piece with it i don't know what they're called so i'm not even gonna say hello to you i'm not gonna cut up i'm just gonna break it so then i'm gonna cut off um, all of this, and then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut those off. And so you see everything is around the same size, nothing is too big, nothing is too small, everything is just right. That is what we're looking for. I want everything to be consistent throughout. In my culture, we burn the curry. You'll hear that terminology a lot anytime someone is making curry. Just like when you are toasting something, it is basically a form of toasting the curry just to release the flavors. A couple things with my curry. My curry is not traditional. I don't really make any of my Jamaican recipes very traditional. Typically when I make curry, crab, I use lemongrass. I don't have access to lemongrass. So we're gonna use lime zest in this, but you can also omit it. It's not necessary. It's still gonna be very delicious without it. I use Trader Joe's coconut milk because it's more accessible. However, there is another brand that I love. This brand in particular is A R O Y D, a Roy D. It tends to be a lot more expensive than regular coconut milk, but I think it's because it is more natural. Same thing with Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's coconut milk is just coconut milk. <laughs> There's nothing else but coconut and water in this pot, nice and warm. I'm gonna go ahead and turn in some oil. This is sunflower oil. Um, you just need any type of oil that has a really high smoke point. Avocado oil is a good oil, canola oil, vegetable oil. You can also use clarified butter if you have that, or ghee. While that is toast, I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw in my thyme and my garlic. Pour in my coconut milk. Then we're gonna fill up that same can halfway and pour some water on top of it. I'm gonna add a scotch bonnet pepper to the mixture ginger and then some green seasoning add a little bit of adobo and some salt this is not something you want to over season because you still want the integrity of the curry and coconut to shine through and i'm gonna add my lemon zest so before i add my crab in i just want to taste this to make sure this is exactly how i want it because once i add my crab in it's gonna be a lot harder to season i'm also gonna add a little bit of allspice if you're not a fan of super spicy this is where you're gonna take the scotch bonnet out pour it in there juice and all I'm gonna cover this and let this cook on medium low. On my setting, it's number four for about 15 minutes. What we have now, it's been about 15 minutes later and our crab is looking really good. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and add a little bit of cornstarch to make the sauce a little thicker. My rice, I let it sit on low and steam so it's nice and fluffy. And that's what we want. Okay, so, need some rice first. Yeah, this could also be turned into a soup. Add some potatoes to this, some corn, put a little bit more coconut milk in it, and eat it as a soup. Recipes are not meant to be followed like verbatim. They're meant to be experimented with and played with. Do you see that? And it's like covered in curry. So good. Imagine sitting here eating that little piece of <laughs> a blue crab. Something about this just always warms my spirit. It brings me back, because the first time I ever had curry crab, my cousin made it. It was so good. Like I had had crab legs before, but I had had crab legs, like when you used to go to Pathmark and you asked them to steam it, or Publix, and they would pour like Old Bay and stuff on it. But this is just bringing back like so much like nostalgic memories of sitting around the table. <laughs> 
hands deep in some curry crab. Spicy, nose running. All you hear is, you know what I mean. There was something that you eat just bring you back to this place of just like, it just feels like home. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you were able to actually try these recipes out. But until then, enjoy. Bye.